Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to NWIRC. Today I have a question for you on this Tamiya Grasshopper. This is my very first kit that I've ever built. I've built model kits, but never an RC kit. I did own a Grasshopper that was many, many years ago. I want to say back in 1988, I want to say. So I was about, what, 11 years old or something like that. I was born in 75, and I've had all kinds of RC cars, uh, but it was never brand new. It was always used because I, I didn't have a whole lot of money. You know, I was the one that did, you know, dishes to get, you know, an allowance to get, pay a little bit of money, and I had friends that had them, and they always turned me on to them. Okay, so this thing here, like I said, my very first build, I did all the decals myself. You might call me a liar, but I did cheat. I just used a little bit of soapy water to kind of place them in and make sure they were centered. I'll do a video because uh, I have a, a I have a lot of kits uh, that I had just recently purchased for this channel, and I want to do build videos and show you guys how I build them. Uh, but I thought it turned out pretty good. My family thought it turned out really good as well. But here I want to show you what I did to the electronics. I am using. The ESC that it came with. But what I also did was I bought this adapter. It's a Tamiya to a XT60 connector, which this is the battery that's installed under the tray right now. It's a Z1500 3S battery pack. And uh, I wanted to go with LiPos just because this ESC is compatible for LiPos. I still have the, ori the original brush motor in there, the one that came with the kit. This is, um, okay, Twix is not approving of this. That's okay, we'll fix it right back up. Okay, back to where we left off. So I bought this adapter, because I did not want to solder in any other connections. I didn't want to take away from this Hobby Wing ESC, you know, by putting a, a, D or a XT60 connector on here. This just made it easy to do and it fit. It worked out great. I do have my ESC up here. I am using the Fly Sky. It's the FS GT3C. I believe this thing's been out for about eight years, at least seven that I know of. And um, it's kind of a nice controller. I mean, it's uh, pretty decent, but I'm, I think I'm having a problem and I don't understand it. The servo that I'm using is this Futaba one. And it's the FP51 or S1. I gotta get my glasses on. It's the FP514B. And I'm using the stock receiver, which is one of these. That's gonna go for that build there. Uh, that came with this transmitter. So everything's hooked up correctly. I probably shouldn't be running it. Through the chassis here i mean it's, i don't see where it's going to bind but the directions say to run it over the top here and zip tie it it just kind of looks cleaner going through here and i don't see anywhere where it's going to pinch or do anything maybe a little yeah, i don't know maybe i'll put them back you guys tell me in the comments what you would do uh but anyway the battery is under here this 3s battery and everything else is built Let's see here, where is the, okay. So let's go ahead and we're gonna power on the transmitter here. I labeled mine as Grasshopper 1. I'm gonna only give you three characters to work with. Let's go ahead and plug this in here, plug this here. And I wanna show you my problem, and I don't understand this. I've been in electric, nitro, gasoline powered RCs for many, many years, but here's the problem I'm having. So I bound it, I did everything correctly. So let's go here, we're gonna power this on. Now you guys tell me, all right, you can see the ESC. It may be flashing for you guys, but it's not. It's solid on my end, just the way my camera's picking it up. If it is flashing, it is not flashing here. So we're gonna give it forward throttle. Everything's fine there, right? Everything, everything's great. We're gonna reverse it. All right, good. I get the green light popping on here when it's uh, forward or reverse. Also, 
let's go ahead and do the steering. All right, now watch this. This is what's very weird. Look at the rear wheels. See how they move? The faster I go, the more they want to engage. I'm sure you guys can see that. So, um, yeah, I mean, what is the deal with that? There, now it's even doing it worse. No throttle. Now if I go real slow, no problem. But when I go fast, you see my servo saver working there. And it only does it, you could go, if, no matter what, it goes in forward. It doesn't go reverse at all, no matter which way I turn the wheel. Okay? Nothing happens to the steering with the throttle. Okay, now, I was told about you could plug in a resistor in here or some kind of a cap. I'm really unfamiliar with that. I had a buddy of mine that used to race. He says, oh yeah, that's very common. And uh, a buddy of his made him up a diode. I guess it plugs right into the receiver. So I went and bought this. It's a Spectrum SPM 1600 uh, voltage protector. I don't know, it's a cap. Uh, I don't know, let's see if it works. I am curious. So I do have the receiver off. And you're supposed to plug it in the next available channel. Let me get my, see, so the brown would be black, which would be negative, which is on, always on the outside of a receiver. Let's make sure she plugs in there. Here we go. I think she's in there good. Now we're gonna see if this thing does it again. Or maybe we might get a, maybe it'll cause a fire. Let's see. Oh, well, that was a little different. Okay, so we have the red light. Okay, let's go for it. We're going for it. Yeah, still doing it. Everything's working good. Look at that. Okay, so this must be for a different purpose. Now I'm wondering if because it's a 3S LiPo with 11.1 .1 volts, uh, I, I don't know if that's the issue because I don't have a smaller battery to test it. Uh, if it's overpowering something here. I mean, so this apparently did not work. Uh, let's see here. What is, let me try something different here. I'll plug it into the last channel. That was channel three. It's a three channel receiver. That's also where I had to put the mind plug. So we're gonna try it in the very last one and let's see what happens. Just gonna go straight to steering. No, that, that did not work. So let's um, turn it off. Is there a setting in the controller that I have to do? Do I need to turn something off? Or, I mean, I don't understand what's going on. So, um, anyway, uh, if you guys have, if you guys can comment below what the deal is, why it's doing that, I really don't want to run it like that. Is it the servo drawing too much, or what, what's going on here? I don't. I wish I had another battery to test it. I don't really want to buy another battery because, man, I got a lot invested in all the kits that I bought. If you follow me on my Instagram, you'd see that, and you know, I've been just going crazy, man. This stuff's addicting, and uh, I'm sure most of you know that. But other than that, tell me your thoughts on how you think I did on this build, and uh, you know how I did the decals for the first time in my life. I thought that was that was fun too. Oh, and another thing I did. So I went out and bought this on Amazon. It's a transom. That's how you say it, transom. It's a paintbrush kit. And uh, it looked pretty nice. Because I still got to paint the body in there. I got to paint the driver. And I needed a, a decent set of paint brushes. And these are, they go to the fine tip and everything. So I should get some pretty good detail. And then I also bought the T 
tester's kit. You know, you get all the paints and stuff. There's what? One, two, three, four. There's nine different colors here. It came with its own brush, which I probably won't use. And uh, I guess I'll get other colors. I could fill in these, spot, these spots here. I mean, these little squares come out. You could put your bottles in there. But that's pretty cool. Stationary kit. I'll link everything down below. If the links don't work, please uh, copy and paste it from my description area and pop it in your browser, and it should work fine. So, okay, guys. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, share this out to your friends. I will get a video, complete video out on this thing, you know, full re full build, everything. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the video yet, but it should be very helpful for people who want to build them. If you guys like this video, again, like, comment, subscribe, and share to your friends. Thanks and have a great day.